I don't want to be positive right now. I want to bring us down, down, yes. down. Going down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Okay, we're finally going to get to see him play baseball for the Dodgers. Let's say Mookie mm. Betts goes out there, hits 300, has a, has a fine year. Just kind of like, you know, he's Mookie Betts. We all expect him to do that. Sure. Mookie Betts was rumored to be asking for north of 350, possibly $400 million this offseason. What do you think Mookie's contract is going to look like? I, w- I, want, I want everyone to give their guess. After this season. What was the Red Sox contract? It was something like 300 they turned million, down? I believe. I think he's gonna get. I think he's gonna take like a a, a really expensive one year contract to play for Boston, or maybe the Dodgers. They bring him back on a one year expensive deal. It, it wouldn't. It would not be the way the market seems. And obviously, this can change by tomorrow. And it, by the time it happens, it'll change drastically. But right now, the way the market seems like it's gonna play out. It seems like a signing a long term deal would not be in his best interest, and doing a thirty mil one year deal would be in his best interest, and wait for the market to fix itself. And one team will offer him a lot of money for just one year. I think thirty mil one so year I, thirty I, mil is not Mookie Betts would not sign a one year thirty million dollar deal. I know it sounds preposterous to say that, but th- that that number no, better I think be it'd have to be like, like forty thirty thirty five to forty would be. Kind of what I think for one year. We'll see. We'll see what the money looks like. I'm. I mean, I kind of lean that way. I lean the one year thing. I'll mostly fear out of just not knowing. But I also kind of feel this way. How about what's the contract Yelich just got? A lot. I could see him getting that. What was that? Eight for two twenty, something like that. Yeah. So let's see. Two hundred seven for two fifteen. I think that's what I just googled. Um, God, that's I could amazing. I could see Mookie pulling something like that off because I could see a team saying, "Hey, that's a bargain." I'm with you, Jake. I think that I, as scary as the free agent market's gonna be this off season, I think it's gonna be more of the mid tier guys, and there's going to be, or at least there should be, some opportunistic teams out there taking advantage of what most people would say is obviously a down year for free agents. I think somebody will step up. I don't know who. I was trying to think that before I I posed the question. Who is it going to be? I don't think anyone's doing seven years. I'm going to tell you that right now. I just don't see a seven-year deal being done. Um, I could see him going four years, 180, something like that. Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. (laughs) Maybe like four-year, 160, something like that. I could see that getting done. I mean, Rendon got seven for two forty-five, and that's I think that comes out to thirty-five a year. And this is pre-corona. I mean, Mookie can do that. I th- that was pre-corona, sure. But yeah, I think I think it's just one of those things that is, it's a mind fuck that very few people can put themselves in those shoes. Like Mookie bets, yeah, you could bet on yourself for a year and. And play for one for thirty five and see what happens, but if you've got two hundred forty five, you know life's over. Like like you're set. Um, and I mean a lot of people I know you're set with one year thirty eight too, but it's it's a lot more money. So I, he'll, someone's got to do it, right? That's, Who knows? That, that's the man. thing. I, wow. I think in these uncertain times, there are going to be teams that sit out, and then there are teams that are going to be opportunistic. I feel like the Reds were really opportunistic this offseason and going out and signing a bunch of guys when other teams weren't. The Twins did that a couple years ago, or they did it also this year with Josh Donaldson. I think those teams are smart. The teams that their windows are now, like they got to be opportunistic in this market. 